Dear students, welcome and thank you for tuning in for this video. Um, this is uh, another video that we are going to talk in about um, corrosion, which is part of the biomaterials class. And in this video, we are going to continue our discussion about the different um, uh, conditions that establish corrosion cells. And we are going to discuss the um, conditions that will result in something we called or um, a corrosion that will result because of something called the concentration gradient. So we're going to define what is the concentration gradient and how does it work and what are the types of corrosion cells that they can that can result because of the concentration gradient. So uh, to get into this, uh, this I know this is this looks like a lot of information in one slide, but I will break it down quickly and uh, go you know directly to the points that they're important. So the definition: concentration cells can arise when the concentration of one of the species species participating in the corrosion reaction varies with the electrolyte within the electrolyte. Now, if you remember from our dis previous discussion. Uh, for corrosion to happen, we need um, an anode, a cathode, you need an electrolyte, and you need the metal. So the metal is going to uh, have a reaction in the anode, and there's a reaction in the cathode, and what happens that your metal is going to lose electrons, um, and we call this the redox, so the reduction-oxidation um, reaction, uh, like in the battery. So if you, the metal is going to create ions, ions will go into... An electrolyte which is probably water and then electrons will also go to the water and electrons has to move to somewhere else so within the whole process this process and also the electrons have to go interact with uh, the electrolyte and oxygen to create um, a, let's say a hydroxyl group that will react with the metallic ions again so there's a lot of ions and electrons um, moving around in the corrosion cell now, if any, th any of these happen to change uh, compared to other places in the, within the electrolyte, um, especially the ions, um, then we're going to create something called the concentration corrosion cell. We have two types. The first type is called electrolyte concentration, and um, this is similar to what I was describing, and the other one is called oxidation concentration. And this is simpler, and it's, it's the, perhaps the most common one. So let's start with the electrolyte uh, concentration. So here, for the, and when we discuss the electrolyte concentration um, cell, so consider a metal bath in electrolyte. So let's say we have a metal, we place the metal in water, but this electrolyte, this water, contain the metal ions already. So we are putting a metal with in water uh, that has already the ions of the same metal. Now. The basic corrosion reaction, the metals need, uh, they have to lose electrons and the ions and uh, has to, and the electrons has to enter the electrolyte and the ions have to uh, be also present and there is an equilibrium that could happen if the electrolyte already has the, contain the metal ion we will be seeing something in the forward and the backward reactions and then we'll eventually reach an equilibrium. So this is important to understand that we're going to reach an equilibrium. Now, after reaching the equi equilibrium, if a region of the electrolyte uh, adjacent to the metal exhibit a, dec exhibit a decrease in the concentration of the metal ion. So let's say our my metal is in the electrolyte. The electrolyte has already ions of that metal. Rea uh, uh, some reaction took place. We are at equilibrium and things something happen. Uh, and on one region of, in the electrolyte, I will have less concentration of that met the ions. Then that region, the adjacent region uh, of the metal that is close to the electrolyte with less ions is going to be anodic and it will start to corrode. And as compared to the other portions of the metal. So I know it's a lot of information, but it's easier to look at it this way. I have a metal, the metal is in a solution, electrolyte, the solution has the ions of the same metal we have equilibrium, uh, then suddenly something happened and one part of the electrolyte uh, lost its uh, ions, then the adjacent metal to that portion of the electrolyte uh, will become anodic and then we will have this something called electrolyte concentration cell. Now, the second example, which is a simpler example and we can all relate to it, uh, it's, uh, it uh, relates to something, to the dissolved 
or dissolving of oxygen. So we all seen uh, a metallic piece that has dirt on it. And we have noticed that below the dirt, beneath the dirt, uh, we have corrosion, right? And the reason is that when oxygen has access to moist uh, metal surface, corrosion is promoted. However, it's promoted the most. It will ha we have more corrosion when the oxygen concentration is the lowest compared to the other places of the metal. So if you have dirt, dirt will prevent oxygen from reaching the metal. However, on other parts, you don't have that dirt. So now we have this cell where the uh, location of the metal or the portion of the metal beneath the dirt is becoming anodic compared to the other parts of the metal because it has less oxygen concentration. As a result, section of the metal that are covered with dirt or scale will, will uh, corrode faster. And since this is because we're going to be the byproduct of corrosion is um, the residual residues of the byproduct will be accumulating there will become like more dirt is preventing oxygen from coming in and this we will get in pitting uh, often result from this runaway reaction so we are worsening the, the process uh, we will focus more onto this oxidation concentration because it's the most common one and it's a better representation of the concentration corrosion cell so the change in oxygen concentration resulted in corrosion here and I wanted to show you this picture. So this is an image uh, of a metal and you can see you have some dirt and below the dirt you have this corrosion. And that's what's going to happen. Because of corrosion you have byproduct and residues and then you prevent more parts, parts uh, you know, you cover more parts of the metal that does not have oxygen and it will continue the reaction faster and faster and then the metal will corrode quickly. And it will eventually, if it's, subject to load, it will, it will fail. I hope uh, by now that you have a good, a clear idea about all types of, or the most um, common uh, three conditions that will create corrosion cells. Uh, to repeat, they're different in composition, a stress gradient, or, and this is number one, the different composition is number one. Number two, stress gradients and boundaries, and number three, the concentration gradient. Thank you for watching, until next video, bye.